by Wallace Stevens called The Planet on the Table. Ariel was glad he had written his poems. They were of a remembered time or of something seen that he liked. Other makings of the sun were waste and welter, and the ripe shrub writhed. His self and the sun were one, and his poems, although makings of his self, were no less makings of the sun. It was not important that they survive. What mattered was that they should bear some lineament or character, some affluence, if only half perceived in the poverty of their words, of the planet of which they were part. Here's another one of Stevens, called, titled, I guess, A Rabbit as King of the Ghosts. The difficulty to think at the end of day when the shapeless shadow covers the sun and nothing is left except light on your fur. There was the cat slopping its milk all day, fat cat, red tongue, green mind, white milk. And August, the most peaceful month. To be in the grass in the peacefulest time, without that monument of cat, the cat forgotten in the moon, and to feel that the light is a rabbit light in which everything is meant for you and nothing need be explained. Then there is nothing to think of. It comes of itself. And east rushes west and west rushes down. No matter. The grass is full and full of yourself. The trees around are for you. The whole of the wideness of night is for you. A self that touches all edges. You become a self that fills the four corners of night. The red cat hides away in the fur light, and there you are, humped high, humped up. You are humped higher and higher, black as stone. You sit with your head like a carving in space, and the little green cat is a bug in the grass. This last poem is by someone who's here tonight. Galway Canal. It's called